Hey everyone, this is Andrew Nagel with Valk9 Designs, and I am back with the next start to finish design. We are going to do a more complex pendant. We're going to set this Super 7 cabochon into the center, and then I'm also going to be doing a rainbow channel on the side of colored sapphires. Now if you don't have a cabochon that is shaped such as this one, you can use a oval cabochon or, you know, even just like a square one and just alter your design a little bit to match the shape of what you have to work with. So the first thing we're going to start off by doing is tracing our center stone. I like to align my center stone on the, you know, you see how that thicker line goes through the center of my stone? I like to be able to have a good, you know, middle line for my design, so that way I can make sure all aspects of it are balanced. Just kind of looking at the size of these faceted stones we're going to set in here, and they're just about the size of one of these squares, so we are going to go ahead and draw those in. These are 2.5 millimeter rounds, and I believe the squares are just around 2 millimeters themselves. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I recommend that you get some of this gridded paper to design on. It makes it a lot easier to make sure your designs are balanced and even, and to make sure that everything is going to look appropriate before you dive into the creation of your piece. So I'm going to draw in my channel setting on the side of the stone here. I'm going to add a morganite into this uh, channel as well, just to give it one other color and to, you know, kind of fill out that channel a bit more onto the section of that stone. I didn't want to leave so much of it being wire all the way around it. I wanted to have a nice, you know, colored bar on the side of that stone and then draw in the rest of the details around that. So I'm going to bring the end of that channel down and kind of create an angled section that will be the bottom portion of the pendant. And then now I'm just drawing a line for what's going to be the outermost portion of the pendant. And this will most likely be a wired coil that I add into the frame and that is set onto the side of the piece. And so I was pretty sure that I wanted to set a stone into the top of this design. And I had this opal that uh, uh, was just laying around on my desk. And so I figured it would fit pretty nicely, especially in with the rainbow color theme that we're doing for the channels there. And so now I'm going to just trace the opal onto the design, round off that oval there. Or we kind of messed up tracing it. And then what I'm planning on doing is bringing up sections of the channel setting that we've drawn in here, and I'm going to create a setting for the opal with the kind of leftover sections of square wire that will be coming off of the channel setting once it's complete and set onto the frame. So we'll just be able to draw those lines up, and that's basically me drawing in where I'm planning a wire and then I'm drawing in where I'm planning another square wire to run in next to that. So most of the lines that I put into the, you know, drawings of my pieces, they're, they're kind of representing another wire, and I was just kind of drawing in the wires of the coil. We're going to finish up the outer edge with another square wire, most likely. Sometimes I like to use the half round wires. Um, I might also do a uh, full back plate for this piece. If you all want to see the back plate process, go ahead and let me know in the comments. And yeah, I would love to show you all, you know, the kind of another complex sort of thing. I backplate the pieces with silver sheet metal, and so it's not too crazy, and yeah, if you want to see that process, let me know in the comments of this video. And so now we've got basically the whole tech side of our design drawn out. We have that coil running along the outer edge of the opal as well to help hold it in. So now I'm going to draw in some more of the kind of flowy, swirly aspects of the design that I want to do for this piece. 
I'm going to have my first curve kind of tuck into the back of the stone, and then I'm going to have another curve build off of that, creating kind of a cascading effect. Right now I'm counting out the squares to see how far I need to draw on each side to balance out the design. And it's going to be five squares on each side, and so that will balance out the piece. I like to draw the five squares on one side and the five squares on another. That's not for every design, but that's just going to be for this design. The idea with the gridded paper, as I was saying before, is it just helps make sure that both sides of the design, even if you're doing asymmetrical sides like we're drawing now, they can become balanced and, you know, it's not looking super wonky on one side or heavy on one side. So now I'm just adding a couple of wires that will follow that first swirl and kind of fan out, creating somewhat of a scroll work design at the bottom of this piece. I'll be connecting all of that with 30 gauge wire, and I just kind of draw that in with a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a weave right there. And so now I'm going to add in the next swirl as well. We're going to bring the tip of that wire and it's going to fold in kind of in between those two stones. You know, our Super 7 cabochon in the bottom and then our cabochon in the top. So whatever stones you're using, this next swirl is going to kind of like fold in between those two center ones. Then I'm going to do one final one near the top here that is going to go up and swoop into the bale. I think where I started the swirl is a little too low, so I'm going to move that up and bring it to the top of my cabochon. And that looks a lot better to myself. Um, it looks just more like a natural swirl. So it's going to be kind of like a cascading waterfall of swirls going down the side of the piece. Then I'm drawing in just another detail line. That'll be one of these top um, kind of openings that'll fan out into a weave. I'm thinking we'll set a stone into this middle section. And then we're going to have to figure out how to fill in the bottom section and a little bit more of the top section as well. So I'm going to do a spiral weave detail into this swirl right here. I'm going to use the uh, wire that comes out on the innermost spiral as a setting wire for the Super 7 as well, just to make sure it's held in there nice and, nice and good. And so that basically completes the setting for the Opal and starts to finish off the setting for the Super 7. We'll also have some 21 gauge running on the, the uh, tech side of the Super 7 Cabochon, so on the right side of this design as you see here. You'll see all of that when we get into the detailing videos of this start to finish design. And so I'm thinking one stone in the center I don't think there's going to be enough room to fit a stone into the bottom part of the swirl, so what we're going to do is just fill in the bottom part. I'm kind of just testing out some lines right now to see if I like some swirls up near this top part, but I think we'll just add in those swirls coming down from this second line because that'll help thicken that middle section up a little bit, which we need to kind of balance that out a little bit. So here I am adding in that bottom swirl to help thicken up that middle part. And then I'm going to add another weave that will connect those two wires that were just drawn in. And then I think in the bottom here we'll just do another spiral weave detail and that should fan out and open up. We can add another 21 gauge square into that weave 
into the bottom to allow that bottom fan to open up and fill in that space between the wires there and that Super 7 cabochon. So I'm thinking I'm also going to add in an opal into that center part, as I was mentioning before. I feel the two opals will complement the channel setting of rainbow facets on the side very well. And so you're also going to have to let me know in the comments what kind of bail you all want to do. If you're going to want to do some sort of dangle bail coming off of the swirl here, I can show you my process, or we can just get some ones off of Rio. They have plenty of different designs that would, you know, fit onto that top swirl very well. Or we could have the chain coming through that bottom swirl. So if you want to either do this first option or the second option, please let me know. If we're doing a backplated option, we could also do the chain hang, hanging a little bit lower and that's kind of like attached into the back plate. And so there's a couple of different options of the style of bail that we could do with this piece. This is more of the style of designs that I'm going to be doing in the New Year's, and I hope you all will follow me along on this journey of creating more complex pieces, and I'm going to be showing you all a lot more of that process as well throughout the course of this year. So thank you all so much for the support in 2021. I hope you're excited for 2022. I have some good things planned for this channel. The Discord um, channel is coming, just working out the fine details and all the chat rooms that I want in there. So thank you all so much. Let me know in the description or in the comments of this video if you want to do a backplate on this piece and what sort of bail you think would be fun to do with this piece. And so thank you all so much and have a wonderful weekend.